Hey, um, so I kind of wanted to do a video just about um, setting yourself up for success with um, your meal planning. And I just have kind of a few little tricks and things that I've used that have helped. Um, I think the best thing to do when you're planning on switching gears and starting to eat healthy is you have to go out and buy healthy food. Um, because if you don't have anything, or if you have, you know, a few items in your house that you're able to eat, then you're gonna at some point get hungry enough to eat the junk in your house. So get rid of the junk and go out and shop for foods um, that are part of your plan that are gonna set you up for success. I've done this so many times where I like, start, you know, I'll do like the, my Shakeology cleanse and I won't go get salad and fruit because <laughs> um, that's one of the things that you need on the cleanse and so like a couple times I've started and then had to go to the store and shop and that's torturous when you're starving so go out buy your food set yourself up for success and the other thing is know what your um, downfall foods are for me I like salty like crunchy things and I also like sweets so I need to have options around the house that are going to satisfy my salty cravings and satisfy my sweet cravings. Um, because if I don't have anything, I'm just going to go eat the stuff that I want and is bad for me. <laughs> so yeah, just be smart about it and um, don't be a superhero. Get stuff that is going to satisfy you and pull you through the long haul. So... Um, I want to kind of show you some of my favorite things that I use. This is um, Stevia, and they come in little packets, just like um, any other little sugar supplement like Splenda, only Stevia is an all-natural, zero-calorie sweetener, so you don't have to worry about putting junk in your body. It comes from the Stevia leaf, um, and I really like that. I'll have you know, when I want coffee and cream and sugar, I'll have tea with stevia in it. So I really like that. And you can do, there's Truvia, which is another one. Um, but this is my favorite one to use. And then on the same line of sweeteners, I really like agave. Um, I You can get this. I got this at Costco. It's like a two-pack. It's pretty affordable. And they say it's twice as sweet as sugar. I'm not really so sure about that, but um, I find that I do use less of it. And I'll put this in like the kids' oatmeal in the morning with blueberries. I'll put it in their tea. Um, I put it in, I make homemade ice cream a lot of time out of like yogurt. So I'll put it in that instead of sugar. And it has a really low glycemic, um, it's really low on the glycemic index, which basically means like it doesn't, um, cause a shock to your system like sugar can. It'll spike your blood sugar. Um, this won't because it's lower. Uh, and what else was I going to say? Oh, a tablespoon of this is like equivalent to one Weight Watchers point. I used to do Weight Watchers, so I kind of think in terms of points. Um, but a tablespoon is 60 calories, so um, it isn't bad. But I really like this stuff. And then this is um, plain non-fat Greek yogurt. You can get, I get this at Costco, you could get it anywhere. I just get, I like the non-fat. Um, I use this to make uh, frozen yogurt with the, like the agave and berries is really yummy. Um, what else? You can use it like in place of sour cream which is really good. Um, I've added like herbs and stuff to it and used it kind of like a, a cheese spread. Um, you can use it in smoothies. It just is really like thick and rich and yummy. So it, it makes it seem like it has fat in it, but it doesn't. It's really good with granola and blueberries or any sort of berry or anything. Um, so that that's a lifesaver. And it's um, in a cup, there's 140 calories. So, And there's a lot of protein. Yeah, 24 grams of protein. So that's awesome if you're doing anything like P90X or Insanity or you need your protein or whatever. Okay, so this next one, I ran out. I need to buy more, but it's the PB2. 
you might have heard about it. This is it. I just print off the website thing because I'm ordering it right now. Um, it's basically powdered peanut butter. Um, only it's way lower in fat and calories. So I'll add this to like my Shakeology. I add a scoop in and then I'm getting the flavor profile of the peanut butter without all the fat and calories. Um, so yeah, where did I... If you just type in PB2, this is it's at bellplantation.com. If you just typed in PB2, it would pop up. And they have a chocolate version too. I haven't tried that one, um, but I really like this. Um, and, you know, I think you could mix water to it and turn it into... Oh, yeah, ha! <laughs> um, you can mix it with water to create traditional peanut butter mixture. There you go. So you could use it with, like, celery. Oh, that's my phone. There you go. Sorry. So you could use it like um, with celery or on a sandwich or whatever you want to do. Um, okay. Sorry. I had to splice out the. Oop, there I am. I had to cut out the phone. I forgot to turn my answering machine off. Okay. So the second to last thing. Um, I love these tortillas. They're really high in carbs. Or, ha, they just say, they say low carb right there. They're really high in fiber, low in carbs. Um, they have 18 grams of protein um, per tortilla. Let's see. Uh, I know they're like one Weight Watcher point a piece, which is really awesome. So um, you could have two of these when you have your fajitas or whatever. I do like sandwich wraps in these because um, it's... I try and stay away from carbs as much as I can. I'll do like steel cut oats, you know, complex carbs like um, sprouted um, whole wheat bread. But I try and go as low as I can because I tend to really like carb carbs. Um, so yeah, these are awesome. Like I said, I'll do sandwiches or could do burritos or fajitas or um, use and make enchiladas, anything like that. Um, and they're La Tortilla Factory. And I got these at Costco too. I love these. All right, so the last thing is kind of a big thing, but I love it. It's my Cuisinart ice cream maker. And this one I got is blue. It comes in like white and red too. I got this at Amazon. Oh, there it is. Um, and it was like 40 bucks, but I, you can use berries and make a sorbet, um, and you can also use the non-fat Greek yogurt, and um, it has you put it in like a, um, I just use my tea towels, my dish towels, um, it has you put it in that and like strain out some of the whey, um, so it makes it a little thicker, but for Greek yogurt, I bet you could even get away with like mixing it with the agave and stuff. It has like recipes come with it and putting it right in. But I love this. It makes ice cream in like 15 minutes. I love ice cream. And if I go buy it at the store, of course, it's in the freezer and I'm home with the kids and I'm gonna eat some. So if I have that, um, I can make it healthy so that I can eat it during nap time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I, you know, I have some other stuff that I use, but I didn't want to waste it all on this one video. So there's a couple little things that, um, might help you with your meal planning and stuff you can throw in. Um, and like I said, know the things that you crave and tend to, you know, crash and burn on your meal plan. Um, and have substitutes for those things. Um, and that's going to be something that will set you up for success. Also, like Sundays, I try and make a few like salads and meals and stuff and put them in the fridge so that they're ready um, during the week if I'm like in a hurry. Um, I'm coming home and I'm starving and I need something, I can just pull it out. So, you know, have a few things in the fridge that you can pull out. I know some of my um, clients get home really late from work that's another time when it's really nice to be able to pull something out instead of just grabbing the bag of chips that's on the counter.
Um, oh, and the last thing, I don't have it with me, but um, get a really nice water bottle. I think most of us probably struggle with drinking enough water. So get a water bottle that you like that you'll carry around with you um, so you can stay hydrated. Um, so those are my tips and tricks and foods that I like. Um, yeah, you can feel free to subscribe or find me on Facebook, um, Carly Fit Mama Brown. And you can also go to fitmamabrown.com. I have other videos and just information and um, yeah, motivation, encouragement for getting healthy and losing weight. Okay.